Hey, Mind Freak. Um, the practitioner here. Uh, I'm taking a look at this experiment, and I asked my grandfather um, if uh, he suspected that there might be a chance of... Uh, now, granted, he hasn't seen the video, but I tried to describe to him, based on what I'd seen, that you were holding your hand by one side and the candle was on the opposite. Um, he suggested a possibility, um, you know, and I, I asked him if the possibility of uh, the, key, the candle acting as a source of heat causing the air to move, uh, air to heat on one side, and therefore, um, uh, you know, heat in general, and your hand acting as a, a heat sink, if you will, um, causing the top to move to one uh, side or the other, whether that would be possible, um, you know, causing the top uh, or bottom of the uh, straw to move towards your hand would be possible. Uh, he said it might be possible, um, and the thing is, I'm taking a look at your uh, video here, and it constantly seems to show the um, that wherever your hand is, that's where the top of the wheel is moving. But considering that there is a more powerful heat source on one side vis-a-vis -vis yours, it would possibly allow for, um, you know, your hand as a focus of the heat to reflecting a little bit of... Actually, no, not reflecting it back. Reflecting it back would cause the thing to still move. Uh, actually, hands should not be able to reflect it. But your hand could be acting as a heat sink is what the, um, is the idea. Um... Anywho, um, one possibility I would recommend is just to put a piece of cardboard uh, next time where your hands are normally. Um, reason being just to test the heat sink theory. Um, just do it as a control next time. Um, the reason I'm concerned about that is that, um, and actually, you know what would even be better is just to, um, just for the hell of it, next time, um, when you move the candle around, um, the candle, unlike your hand, is a lot more uh, focused to the open atmosphere. So what I'd recommend is that next time you actually um, leave the candle in a couple of spots for, say, 10 seconds or so, like actually physically put the candle down on the table and just leave it there and see if the side wheel moves with that. Um, like I said, good attempt. Um, and for the most part, I'd have to say on this one, uh, for your other experiments, I'm not debunking because, uh, uh, like I said, those do seem uh, I, I don't have an explanation for. This one I am a little concerned about the heat, about the candle itself being a heat sink. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, I'd, uh, I, like I said, so I just recommend leaving the candle there for a couple of seconds um, before actually filming yourself, uh, doing it with the hand there, just to actually make sure that the candle itself is not causing any, uh, uh, you know, heat motion, so to speak. Um, you know, actually, one other thing which would be a, a, a useful experiment, just, just purely to see uh, what might be causing it, put a uh, bucket of ice, uh, um, actually, no, put a glass, say, like, with a couple of ice cubes in it, on one side of the wheel, say like in an opposite end, like where your hand is, um, you know, say like where your hand was in one of these spots, and put the candle on the other, and see if the heat differential is enough to cause the side wheel to move. Um, if it is, then you might want to remove the candle from the, um, then you might want to leave the candle there um, to uh, verify as to what's going on, but then remove the candle again, and see if you can get the hand to act something that uh, acts like, uh, like the bucket of ice, causing the, um, so, the straw or whatever to move towards your hand. If you're still getting that even without the candle being there, then I'd recommend that as the uh, as the unknown energy that we're uh, looking at here. Um, other than that, that's my only thoughts on it. Uh, just this particular one, you might want to do that as an extra control for next time. Um, for most of the others, I'd have to say you've got it down pat. Anyway, that's just my thoughts. Toodles.